Uh, I'm Sam Helfrich, and I'm the director of Orfe. My name is Stephen Jarvie, and I'm the conductor for this uh, production. Uh, my name is Heather Buck, and I am singing the role of the princess in Orfe. Uh, my name is Sarah Jakubiak, and I play Uhadis. Uh, I'm Matt Worth, and I am Orfe. My name is Jeff Lentz, and I play the role of Urtebees. Uh, the opera is based on uh, a film from 1949 called Orfe, which was made by Jean Cocteau. And um, what Cocteau did in the film was to take the Orpheus myth and to update it to contemporary France and to explore a lot of uh, ideas about contemporary society through uh, a modern retelling of the, of the Orpheus myth. I think the audience will be fascinated by Orphe. I think it's a masterpiece. It's uh, one that has just the most intricate, catchy harmonies throughout that tells a real life story. I love this opera. I, I love the production. I love everything about it. I love this show. I, first of all, I love the myth. I love, uh, there's so much art that's been generated from this story for centuries. Uh, the opera Orfe is a really beautiful uh, vignette um, of love, love, love lost, and, and ultimately love regained. But it's an absolute masterpiece, and it, it's really a both beautiful orchestration and beautiful singing. I, I think there are so many people who would enjoy this opera. I think it, it, it really touches many aspects of humanity. I think they'll like a lot of the dance rhythms that are part of it. A lot of it has a very tango-esque feel, which maybe doesn't fit the Cocteau story so much, but in some weird way, Glass finds a way to marry them all together. I enjoy all of the, the intention, the sort of um, sounds you can bring into your voice and the ways that you can color it in the, in the glass. He, I think he leaves a lot of room for that. And so you come up with these very real characters uh, and real relationships. Uh, and I think it makes it very, it can be very touching to the audience. As an actor, uh, I love the idea that it's a series of strange circumstances. If this hadn't happened, then that hadn't happened. This wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have met her. Um, the real s sense of um, cause and effect and immediacy that, that, I, that I love about it. Well, immediately people will recognize Philip Glass's style of these kind of repeated rhythms and repeated ideas going over and over. Um, and it, there's also very little kind of push and pull. This is not Puccini where there's a lot of rubato and things. There's a lot of really exciting rhythmic music that is always driving through the piece. is going to be kind of transformative. I think people will walk in, maybe not knowing what to expect, and they're going to find themselves riveted and hypnotized. And at the end, they're going to just say, oh my goodness, what happened? That was incredible.